Hello. Um, next up, we have Diego, who will be introducing us to MITOS, as a protein sequence analysis tool. Thank you. Hi, everyone. My name is Diego. I'm going to present MITOS, that it stands for Mutual Information Tools for Protein Sequence Analysis. But as you will see, it goes beyond that. So to start, to start, here we have a simple representation of a protein sequence. Basically, a protein sequence is a change of amino acid residues. And this change can fall in, in structures in the space, in different structures. So we can use MITOS to study both protein sequence and structure. And I'm particularly interested in protein evolution. So to study protein evolution, in general, we need to have a set of related proteins. For example, if I, I'm studying the myoglobin from human, maybe I will want myoglobin for other species to construct a multiple sequence alignment or MSA. And in particular, I say mutual information because I'm interested in coevolution, in coevolution of positions uh, in the protein. For example, here in, the, in this schematic representation, we have two positions that are coevolving because in the structure, they have uh, interaction between a positive and a negative residue. So if I change one, I need to change the other one also to maintain the interaction. And this is a simple, a simple example of coevolution. Co and we use covariation in the multiple sequence alignment as a way to see this coevolution signal. So in general, we use protein contacts in order to evaluate how well performs a coevolutionary method. So the calculation of mutual information for coevolution requires some corrections. And one of the first corrections we need is to cluster sequences that are very similar. Um, in the worst case, for doing that, I need to compare all the sequences against all. Uh, we use a uh, HOBOM1 algorithm that, in general, don't hit that case, but we have a very fast implementation in MITOS. Um, this is the first, uh, the first correction. We have other ones, but the other combinatory uh, explosion we have is that we need to compare all the columns against all the columns in order to see what, what are the columns that are co-evolving. So the last correction we need is a theta score transformation of the score. And for doing that, we need to do all the previous one, but 100 times in random alignments, uh, keeping the same sequence clustering. Sequence clustering is not uh, happening all the time, but the calculation of mutual information is, is happening. So we need a really fast implementation if we want to calculate this, for example, in an entire PFAM database. Um, so the initial implementation we had was in C because it's fast, but we wanted also a more modular uh, and easy to work uh, interface. So we saw in Julia because it's fast and it's a high level language that allows us to have a more modular implementation so we can enter in each step of the pipeline. And as you can see, the implementation in Julia is really faster than the original implementation in C. Even taking the compilation time, running it as a simple script. So, MITOS has a modular, defines some modules. The first module we define is the MCI module. That basically is the one that allows to read and, and write uh, multiple sequence alignments. But it also has nice features that, for example, it keeps track of the position of each residue in the sequence. So if we perform editing, for example, deleting columns, we don't lose the information of the position of that residue. And less, later, we have the information module that is the one that performs the calculation of mutual information and also Shannon entropy and Kullback labor that are used to calculate conservation of, of positions. 
Um, for doing that, we construct contingency tables for residues, and we have a really fast indexing because it's the most time expensive uh, operation we have here. Um, we also have a PDB module that basically allows to work with protein structures, and it has a very fast implementation for calculating residue contacts because it's the tool we need for testing our methods. And the SIFT uh, module is uh, what it does is read XML files from the SIFT database. That is a database that uh, cross link other ones at uh, residue level. So it's the one we use to say, okay, this residue is here in the multiple sequence alignment, is this one in the structure. And we can do that in a very accurate way. Um, finally, the PFAM module. Uh, use the previous one, but in the particular case of PFAM, making very easy to, with, with very few lines, to write a pipeline for doing um, coalition analysis in, in the PFAM database. So we use that uh, for studying how the conservation and coalition is related to the differences in the structures that we can see for a family, for a protein family. So in general, most of the study use a, simple, a single structure because it's the most practical and easy way. But since MITOS allow us to, to incorporate multiple structures, we want to see how that, uh, that works. And finally, what we found is that integrating the information for multiple structures, we can get a better insight of what conservation and convolution means in the multiple sequence alignment. Also, MITOS is used inside the Mystic2 web server. That is a web server for calculating mainly covariation methods. Uh, it's used here for calculating conservation and also the corrected mutual information. Um, the work was published last year in the Bioinformatics Journal. Um, so to conclude, uh, MITOS is an easy tool that allows to perform both sequence and structure analysis in Julia. And since it's very flexible, I think it could be used to improve or develop or develop other methods that are based in frequencies of residue, both on columns, pairs of triplets, triplets of columns, or sequence. Uh, so, thank you all for your attention. All right, we have one time for one question. So you develop a, a, web, uh, a web app to access uh, MITOS, for instance. What's the purpose of the app? Is that for other researchers to analyze their data, or is it to expose what's being done? Uh, basically, MITOS, you can use it as a researcher uh, by using the tool in Julia, but you can also use, for example, the scripts, like the one I showed before. So if you only want to calculate mutual information in the way, for example, is calculated inside this server, but you want to run locally in your computer, you can install MITOS and use the scripts that are shipped with it and calculate it uh, in your PC. But you can, since it's very modular, you can use any of the tools that are in the middle and you can change whatever you want in order to get the, the method you want. It's for that that I see it's I think it's very flexible, and if you have a tool that relies in the in analyzing protein structure and sequence, and in measures that has based it in counting residues or pair of residues and things like that, it's very extensible in that way. All right. Thank you very much.